黒系はねだいぶあぶさしたあいごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるごいるいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいや And I have a very interesting story that I was told. Do you want to hear it? Good. 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 Tell us. I will tell you this story. Long, long ago, there lived a Desangun Henyu sonning song in the village who was energetic and stood out against anything without fear. She was the only one who never hesitated to dive at Yongun Ole. Which no other hen you could even think of entering. Every time she did Muji there, she came home with so many fat, full grown abalones that others gave her an envious look. One day, she was collecting abalone and conch, diving nearly 20 gil into Yongung Ole. Getting short of breath, she thought it was time to get out. Then, A big round abalone stuck between uneven rocks caught her attention. She even forgot the sharpness of her breath at the scene of the windfall. Soon she detached Bichan from her waist and held it in hand, rushing to the abalone.、Mm. Right at that moment,、mm. she passed out. Oh, to, to her s h a n k a r c h a n k a r c h a n k a r Passed out. Passed out. s u r a j o s o s u r a j o n o c h a n k a n Wait, wait, wait. Why did she not just s u r a j go up for us? Why did she not come to breathe? I guess she wanted to catch more. Ton, I go, I go, I go. Ton, ton, very important. To her surprise, she found herself in a whole new world when she woke up. How strange it was. The midday sun was shining brightly and a puppy was barking. The puppy wagged its tail at her, which she thought. Chanka, Chanka, Chanka. Ah. Kangaji puppy. Nah. Water? Nah. Otoke. Ah. Kojima. Ah. She lie? Big guy. Ah. The story. Chanka, you say. What the you, story says. Jeju? Nah. Poppy? Underwater. Ah, sang、ah. mm, Strange, no, sang strange things. Ah. Ah. The puppy wagged、Come、its、on. tail at her, which she thought was a signal to follow it. Without giving much thought, she came after the puppy. Following him, she saw a group of boys and girls dressed in beautiful suits. And even a range of unworldly, luxurious palaces lined up on the street. What kind of world could be like this?、Mm-hmm. Feeling puzzled, she doubted what was happening in front of her eyes. Just then, a beautiful woman who was seemingly a princess suddenly approached her. The beautiful lady asked Song in a low voice, Where did you come from? How did you reach here? Song answered, I live in s h i m p u n r i a village in the town called j o n g i g o I usually work in the field, but between the field works, I dive deep into water to collect abalone, cod, sea mustard, agar, and more.、Mm. I dive throughout all four seasons, even when with a blizzard in the winter, only to make a living. Today, I dove deep to collect abalone, 
But when I saw a chubby, full-grown one and tried to pick it, I passed out. When I woke up, I felt bewildered, not knowing what to do. Then I saw a puppy. Following its lead, I reached here involuntarily. The beautiful lady did nothing but give a pitiful look at Song for a long time. <sighs> Seeing with a friendly eye, she was obviously willing to help her out no matter what. Desperate and distressed, Song had no other choice but to plead for help. Long after listening to her story, the beautiful lady opened her mouth saying, You are a Nam He Young Gong, a world different from yours. This place allows no ordinary person as its resident, let alone a visitor. It is difficult for me to understand how you got here, because this world doesn't belong to humans. If Young Wang finds out that you are here, you will not be able to return to your world alive. Hearing this, Song began shivering, seized with terror. Please show me your mercy this time. Without me, no one can support my ill parents who are too old and weak to walk, as well as so many other members of my family. Because Song begged for her life, bowing to her so desperately, the beautiful lady whispered in her ear, that she would send her back secretly so she should hurry. Some overwhelmed with gratitude, seek bow to the lady many more times. Mm -hmm. To return to your world, however, there is a rule you must abide by. Mm -hmm. On your way out, you must not look back. Mm -hmm. The lady asked with a serious look. Hearing that, so. <laughs> The lady asked with a serious look. Hearing that, Song hurried to leave Yongun. Out of impulse, however, she looked back at the enchanting Yongun, just like the lady's advice. Then it suddenly became dark, and the gatekeeper of Yongun, with big and bright eyes, appeared out of nowhere. How dare you come here? Song told him with a shivering voice how she got there and begged for her life. She pleaded desperately, saying that if she fails to go back, her 90-year-old father-in-law and 80-year-old mother-in-law will have no one left to support them. What a pity, I also support my old parents. Sympathizing with her, the gatekeeper exchanged a whisper with his colleague next to him. He then told her that although she was not supposed to leave the place alive, they would let her return to support her elderly parents. As soon as he finished talking, the same puppy that, that she saw when entering Yongung appeared again, wagging its tail to lead her. Following the puppy, she finally managed to leave Yongung. She soon reached Yongung Oli. Meanwhile, the people in her village made a fuss, thinking that the descendant and your son named Song passed away while dying. Oh, when Song returned so alive so from young so 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 her so story so became well known to the public. Mm. The people were surprised. Mm. Since then, the area where she entered Yongong has been called Yongong Ole. Mm. Next to Yongong Ole is a blade looking rock, some 10 meters high. It is called Kao Song Dori. It is said that the rock was set up as a shield-like bridge to prevent ordinary people from entering Namhi Yongo. Mm. Hearing that Namhi Yongo exists under the coastal sea of Shinpuri, Song Sanko, nearby villagers held a ritual mm. for rain near the site oh. when having drought. The rain calling ceremonies Shoo. are said to have worked. Huh? This is the story oh. that I heard all the way from Jeju ah. about the Jeju oh. people. Oh. Oh. It's a good thing everything was fine. Kuchi. Kuchi. Oh, you go. Hmm? What's that? I knew, I knew. I'm just thinking about the money she must have lost. She but she has old people. I have to go now. 
Oh, kuru. Ah, huh? I'm going you don't want to sleep? Ah, Queen Chano? I'm sleeping at home. I go. Thank you for coming. I go. I I wonder who we will. I wonder who we will see next time. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe. Tell ourselves stories too. Could you? Yeah. We can tell stories from our house. Could you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Ah, sorry. Sorry. Today. Ah, Sengak Naninge is so. Mo, mo, yo? Once upon a time, Changkan. I will later, Najunge, I will tell the story. Later? Later. Correct. Okay. I think it would be a good idea. Could you? That we have our children. Come. Hmm? You have children? In the future? Future? How many? Huh? Huh? Like how many? Me? Children in the future, Opsa? Mm. I will. It's fine. To start, to start, to start. I'm going to sleep now. It's better we sleep. Oh. <laughs>